Uh, welcome to Auckland and welcome to the Hauraki Gulf. Uh, the Hauraki Gulf represents some of the best fishing in the country. We're the most populated area within the country, being Auckland City as well. And it has some of the most dynamite fishing that you can actually access on a day-to-day -day basis. Full of snapper of course, but as the snapper drop off into this time of the year, which is pretty much December, we jump into the kingfish um, side of things. Basically they'll take uh, lures, um, stick baits and live baits. So with the kingfish, sometimes it is the only way to catch them is actually via the live baits. So you've got to get a bin full of live baits. Catching liveies, well, you've got to find them in the bay and um, in a nice sheltered bay preferably um, and sound them with your sounder. Get over top of them as well. Use your sabiki rigs with the weight on the bottom and either use your engine to idle and stay on the spot, mark your spot and go back to the spot. Uh, using the heavy weight on the bottom of your sabiki rigs is stops the uh, tangles. Sometimes a good quality sabiki rig is the difference between two liveys and 20 liveys. Uh, towing liveys I think is the most effective way of catching kingfish. Um, get up early catch the liveys and the dividends will pay. Inside the Hauraki Gulf to find kingies, you know, they'll be, they'll be in between five and, and 50 metres of water. But really towing liveys, we want to be in between 10 metres to 20 metres of water as well. And um, it's probably going to have some sort of structure, um, so either deep drop-offs or against pinnacles or things like that. So that's the sort of ground we want to cover. On the inner Hauraki Gulf, we find them, um, I'm talking inside Great Barrier Island here, we find them at Little Barrier. All right, we can track east down to the east of Kauau Island, down to uh, Flat Rock and so forth, and then down to the, the inner islands as well, which is uh, out to the Rakinos of the world. Uh, the Waiheke and all the reefs that are surrounding those um, particular islands as well. Right down to Gannett Rock as well, going west further, um, across to the Firth of Thames to the, what we call the Happy Jacks. On the Hauraki Gulf today, we're on the 816 Southern. Um, it's uh, powered by a 250 Yamaha, a 4.2 litre motor. Uh, it's 8.7 metres overall and it is a fantastic boat. You can fish up to five to six people on it. You could overnight on it. Um, it's a big boat to tow, but very, very towable on our roads around the country and very, very launchable um, at most ramps. G'day, I'm Wade, 40 year veteran and on water specialist. Most of my time spent in Auckland 15 years spent offshore working and breathing super yacht industry. So I have good knowledge and experience with regards to Yamaha outboard engines and water activities in general. Although some people that I know can't catch fish. Oh, lost him, went a bit early. Who's that then? I have a long standing uh, relationship with Family Boats, have owned three boats through Family Boats over the last 20 odd years. Um, my latest boat is a Southern Sport 856. Very impressed with this boat, its sea keeping capabilities. I've spent the last two and a half, three years trying to find a right boat for myself and my family for transiting the Gulf, something that is efficient and safe for us to get backwards and forwards to Great Barrier. It's built well, I can see that. We've now had it in some pretty rough weather and everybody feels comfortable, safe, nobody's crawling under the seats, nobody's crying, everybody's happy.
to uh, catch kingfish, you're using a medium weight jigging outfit. The rig we use is a, at least a two to three meter wind on leader, a two to three ounce ball sinker, a game swivel, and then we use a, a meter and a half uh, fluorocarbon leader with a six to seven bar o J hook or a circle hook. We think the best way to rig the bait is uh, with the bridle rig um, at, and using a J hook. It allows the, uh, the fish to swim naturally and um, allows the hook to be exposed as well. Uh, the, and the reason why that is good because it doesn't turn the hook back into the bait fish and allows the bait to swim naturally. In order to uh, bridle rig the uh, bait fish, you need a bridle rigging needle, all right, and either rubber band or urethane bands as we have. Bit of a tip, if you get into your chemist and buy some urethane hair bands, they're also clear as well and super strong. You just wait for the current to run. Kingfish uh, love structure. So depending on the tides uh, coming in or out, they'll be either on the front side of that structure or on the back side of that structure. Uh, so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for bait fish um, on my sounder up to about five meters, all right, with a bigger sounding below it. So it means that the, the bigger fish are pushing the bait fish up. Catching kingfish, and what I like about it is, apart from the taste and the, and the table quality of them as well, is that they are powerful and they are a great fish to catch in the sense that they will pull line and not everybody catches kingfish. So when you do, it is a absolute winner. So on the Hauraki Golf today, uh, we're out on the 816 uh, XP Southern. Uh, a beautiful boat, uh, beautifully made, beautifully appointed, rides so well and uh, absolutely eats up the rough as well. Uh, the greatest, great thing about the Southern is that it is a handcrafted boat, and it's built in Mosgiel, Dunedin. Uh, if you come to the North Island and you're in the North Island, we are at Family Boats, we're the North Island dealer and uh, you'll find um, all of the southern boats are, are built to a very, very high standard. The southern boat is uh, crafted out of uh, alloy. It's painted, it's got a composite hard top to it as well, and it is very, very well appointed inside the boat. We did a trip not so long ago in some pretty adverse weather, and there was a lot of throttle that had to be applied and the V8 just had power to burn with the 856 Southern. We were pushed, but we were comfortable. Um, so that, that's again the, the, the important thing is the reliability as well. You know, it, it needs to start, it needs to run, it needs to be safe for me and for my family. And, and that's what we get out of the Yamaha. I've had other engines in the past that haven't started when my wife's been on board the boat and that hasn't worked well for me. So Yamaha, happy wife, happy life.